Hello guys and welcome to my new video. This time around I'll be comparing two pairs of shoes, the Common Project's Achilles Low and the Saint Laurent Andes. Because they are very similar in the price point and that they are both very minimalist luxury sneakers, I think they are a good comparison to determine which one is better or is even one better. So let's get right into it. Holy crap, that was a hype intro. So now we're all chilling again. Take it easy and watch the video. Alright, let's go over some general information first. The YCL Andes run you 425 euros retail. They are made out of cask and leather and they are also made in Italy, which is kind of weird for a French brand. I mean, the common projects, they are a New York based brand. They are also made in Italy. I guess Italians are just good at making shoes. Well, they are made out of Napa leather and they feature a margom sole, which is actually used in quite a lot of luxury sneakers. I just want to say something before. The white common projects Achilles Lowe's were my favorite shoe ever. And the question is now, are they still? Because I got the YCL Andes to replace my white common projects because they were falling apart a little bit and because I was wearing them so much, yeah. So let's take a look at the YCL Andes. The YCLs are very minimalistic. They have white shoelaces with just some gold lettering on the side saying Sanoro. The sole also has a logo stamped on it. What I really like about the shoe is that even though it is calf leather, the shoe really shows some nice aging and some nice creases. That also really shows me that the leather is very good quality. Also compared to the common projects, the shoe is surprisingly very light. So it is actually very comfortable to wear. And also the inside is made entirely exactly like the common projects out of leather. So you can actually also wear them barefoot, which I think is very good in summer. One thing which scared me a little bit before I bought the shoe is that I knew that they are not stitched together. The upper part and the sole, they are not stitched together, they are just glued together. And I think the longer you wear them, they could they have the possibility to actually fall apart. While with a common project, that will not be the case because they are stitched together. And that's why also the Saint Laurent looks very, very, very clean. But I think I have to see how it holds up over time. Until now, it has been perfectly fine. There have been no signs that they are falling apart or anything like this. So let's see how it goes. Also, what's kind of cool and cute about them, they have a pull top or like a heel tab, which you can pull to get easier in the shoe. But I'm just too stupid to use that I tried but uh, it's not working for me I just always put my finger inside the shoe and just like slip in that's how I do it so and besides being super super basic they also have a very very round shoe box which reminds me more of a Stan Smith than the common projects do they have more of a pointy shoe box and that makes also the Andes look a little bit more sporty so yeah now let's go to the common projects. The common projects are probably with the Stan Smiths together the most popular minimalistic sneaker and it's also no surprise why let me show you. I think I got my first common projects around two years ago and when I got them man they were really like a grail shoe for me and I got them and I unpacked them put them on and I was like damn like I couldn't stop smiling for the rest of the day they really invoked like a special feeling for me not because I had them but because they looked so freaking good I think it must be like the proportions and the shape of the shoe which are just like incredibly well done and the build quality is spec spectacular and like everything about the shoe is crazy good so um yeah other than provoking special feelings they of course offer probably the best proportions for a sneaker in an extremely minimal design all they have is some gold little lettering on the side which is referring to the year they got released and the style code basically uh the case low style code and the shoe size my normal shoe size is a 44 button com projects i wear 43 and so you just go one size down with them and they will fit perfectly fine. Just like the Andes, they are also completely made out of leather and even the inside is there is some suede inside which makes the whole shoe a little bit softer and they basically you can also wear them barefoot without worrying that they got musty in summer. Let me just quickly show you what I mean by a high quality leather compared to not so high quality leather. Let's take a look for example at my white Adidas campus sneakers. I mean I wore them maybe like 15 to 20 times and look how there's creases but like very thick creases and dents everywhere in the shoe. There is literally like a dent in the shoe box. So, I mean, how the hell can is there a dent in the shoebox? I don't get it. Look at the YSLs, for example, man. They have nice little creases and they look like they're going to hold up very well in future. And it's very, very different from like a cheap Adidas sneaker. Same thing with the common projects. Man, I even went hiking with them. I went, I was running through rain with them. They hold up incredibly well and the leather actually gets nicer and nicer, in my opinion, the more you wear it. So also more comfortable, which is really important for a leather sneaker. So I think a leather sneaker is definitely worth the investment, especially if it's like a luxury leather 
sneaker which is going to hold up over time. So, you know, don't get fooled by sheep prices sometimes. And it doesn't really matter which one you're going to choose, it just depends on which aesthetic you prefer. For myself, the Achilles Low Common Projects, especially in white, are my favorite sneaker ever. And the Andy still could change that. Um, I don't regret that I got them because I wanted to change it up a little bit. I want to have a different white sneaker than my Common Projects, which I wore for two years. Because I'm only wearing, having 30 pieces of clothing right now in my wardrobe. And so I had to choose the pieces carefully and uh, you know I thought like do not get bored I would get the Andes but yeah common projects all the way still. Thank you that you watched the entire video if you liked it then you can subscribe to the channel ciao a tutti grazie mille ciao ciao <laughs>